glad to share Jeremiah 14 with everyone. Also, I'm going to read Psalm 50. They both go with the dreams that the Lord gave me this morning about how the love of many will be growing cold, more so as we're nearing the end. And the word he gave me, in time of distress, only I will save you. I put a video out about that already. So Jeremiah 14, the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the drought. Judah mourns and her gates languish. They mourn for the land and the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. Their nobles have sent their lads for water. They went to the cisterns and found no water. They returned with their vessels empty. They were ashamed and confounded and covered their heads because the ground is parched. For there was no rain in the land. <clears throat> the plowmen were ashamed. They covered their heads. Yes, the deer also gave birth in the fields, but left because there was no grass. And the wild donkey stood in the desolate height. They sniffed at the wind like jackals. Their eyes failed because there was no grass. O oh Lord, though your, our iniquities testify against us, do it for your name's sake, for our backslidings are many. We have sinned against you. O oh, the hope of Israel, his Savior in time of trouble, why should you be like a stranger in the land and like a traveler who turns aside to tarry for a night? Why should you be like a man astonished, like a mighty one who cannot save? Yet you, O oh Lord, are in our midst, and we are called by your name. Do not leave us. Thus says the Lord to his people. Thus they have loved, their, they have loved to wander. They have not restrained their feet. Therefore the Lord does not accept them. He will remember their iniquity now and punish their sins. Then the Lord said to me, do not pray for this people, for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry, and when they offer burnt offerings and grain offering, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword, by the famine, and by pestilence. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say to them, You shall not see the sword, nor shall you have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. And the Lord said to me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I have not sent them, commanded them, nor spoken to them. They prophesy to you a false vision, divination, a worthless thing, and the deceit of their heart. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the prophets who prophesy in my name, whom I did not send, and who say sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine, those prophets shall be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. They will have no one to bury them, nor them nor their wives, their sons nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness on them. Therefore you shall, you shall say to this word, this word to them, Let my eyes flow with tears night and day, and let them not cease for the virgin daughter of my people. He has broken with a mighty stroke, with a very severe blow. If I go out to the field, then behold, those slain with a sword. And if I enter the city, then behold, those sick from famine. Yes, both prophet and priest go about in a land they do not know. Have you utterly rejected Judah? Has your soul loathed Zion? Why have you stricken us so that there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, but there was no good and for the time of healing, and there was trouble. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not abhor, abhor us for your name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of your glory. Remember, do not break your covenant with us. Are there any among the idols of the nations that can cause rain? Or can the heavens give showers? Are you not he, O Lord, our God? Therefore, we will wait for you since you have made all these. Psalm 50. God judges, God the righteous judge. The mighty one, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temptuous all around him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. 
gather my saints together to me. Those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, let the heavens declare his righteousness. God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house, nor a goat out of your fold. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the fields are mine. I, if I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, what right have you to declare my statutes or take my covenant in your mouth, seeing you hate instruction and cast my words behind you? When you saw a thief, you consented with him, and you and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent. You thought that I would altogether like I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forgot God, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God.